Hi, everybody. This is Grandma Bev and Grandpa Bob with uh, Life with Grandma Bev. And today, we're hungry for some snacks. So we're just going to quick do this video. <laughs> this is a Universal Yums box. And uh, this is one of the ones I'm going to keep. I'm getting rid of a bunch of the others. But, but this one I like because it always comes and it represents another country. Well, that's right. Get all the old slice it open. So let's see what we have. This month, it's from Turkey. And we've been to Turkey. We've been to what? Istanbul, right? A long time ago, like 15 years ago. I didn't care for it, but he liked it. <laughs> so they always put this little card in, and it's got the little score card on the back. You know, uh, you rate the different products. I don't, I don't use this stuff. And of course, they put in the little booklet. I like the booklets because they're so colorful. And of course, inside, you know, I talk about exploring Turkey, talk about the highlights. They always put a recipe. This one is a, a Turkish stuffed eggplant. I don't like eggplants. So I don't think we'll try that. So um, then we've got trivia train. We won't do that because how many of us would get things right about Istanbul? <laughs> so then it says to start here. And this lists all of the products, what's in them, and all that good stuff. So, oh, I say that word a lot, I don't know. So let's get started. Of course, they always put a cute sticker in for the different countries that, you know, I can use in different boxes I'm sending out to other people. Okay, the first item is a crispy tortiqui. <laughs> Something taco. <laughs> it looks kind of like chips, but they feel thicker than like a potato chip. And uh, I don't see anything in oh, it's, it's in English. It's, of course, it comes from from Turkey. Crackers with sp with spices is what they are. So let's see what what we both think of it. Bobby will give either a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Why don't you put it where they can see your thumb at least? <laughs> there we go. It tastes like Mexican food. It does. It tastes like Mexican food. I like it okay. Say about it. Do you love plain, boring snacks? <laughs> if so, well, you're going to seriously hate these cracker chips and the rest of this box for that matter. Every cranny of these ridged rounds is packed with a baharat, which is a blend of spices that's insanely popular all across the Middle East and especially Turkey. In fact, you'll hear locals describe spicy food by saying, Baharati, which means seasoned with spices. And I probably butchered the heck out of that word. Now we have something called Otto, O-T-T-O, nuts. Yellow chickpeas. I'm gonna like that. You ever eaten chickpeas? They don't have a lot of flavor, but it surprised me. I expect them to be hard like little nuts, but they're not. They're soft kind of things you chew into. The flavor's okay. Like I say, not, Bob's well, not a real big flavor. They're okay. Let's see what, oh. they are salted roasted chickpeas. They're turkey's flavorful, guilt-free obsession. You can't walk down a Turkish street without seeing bags of 
leblebi, which are roasted chickpeas, hanging from stall roofs, roasted in a special oven to make them non-greasy, soft, and creamy. These chickpeas are absurdly popular. The only difficulty is choosing what flavor to savor. Some are hot and spicy, and other type of seasoned with dried cloves. Others are slattered in sugar. Now that they should have put in there. <laughs> but sometimes simple is best, as the salty nuttiness of these downright addictive leblebi will prove. Now the rest of the goodies are good. This is a cocoa cream cookies, lush mosaic. What do you think? Caught my eye. Ooh. Mm, cute. Look at these cute little things. Honey. <laughs> Thumbs up for both of us. Mm. I won't eat it all now. I gotta talk. <laughs> it says these cocoa cream mosaic cookies have tahini, hazelnut, and cocoa in them. Take a bite of this cookie and you'll taste a rich, smooth cocoa filling unlike any you've ever had before. And there are a few reasons for that. Tahini, a traditional Turkish paste of ground sesame seeds, adds a touch of earthiness in that creamy nuttiness. That's hazelnut, of which Turkey is the world's number one producer. Hmm. They account for 75% of the global supply. Mix these two Turkish specialties into rich chocolatey goodness and you've got one extraordinary cookie. Four, actually. I don't even mean there's four in there. Yeah, those are good, huh? And then we have, this is heavy. It's another tahini, like what was in this other one. Tahini halva, H-A-L-V-A. -A. It's vanilla flavored. Lucy's just sitting over there in the chair looking at us like we're nuts. Of course, she knows I am already, but she's not used to her daddy. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Being over here looking like he's nuts with me. Oh, looks like um, looks kind of like divinity or like dough, cookie dough. <laughs> We're both going. A strange texture. Strange texture and and flavor. But when I swallow it, it almost tastes like peanut butter. You know, the texture of it. So let's see what they say about it. It's a sesame sugar tradition, crumbly. In Turkey, it doesn't get more iconic than halva. The extraordinarily crumbly ground sesame confection locals have been loving since the 11th century. A famous enthusiast was Suleiman the Magnificent, the Ottoman Empire's longest <clears throat> reigning sultan. <laughs> so uh, anyway, it turns out to not only be the sultan's favorite, but the favorite of the entire empire. And just maybe it'll be your favorite from the box. Okay, this is called New Today Snowball with, with Coffee Cavelli. Looks good from the package. Interesting looking. <laughs> Better set it back in the package before I break a little piece off. So, yes. well, this looks like a hostess cupcake in a way. It's 
I think the coffee flavor really comes through. Mm. Very coffee flavor, yeah. I'm not a coffee drinker. <laughs> Coconut and coffee snowball cake. Speckled with Turkey's famous coffee beans. So that's what's on, speckled on the outside. Look into the bottom of a Turkish coffee cup and you'll see something unusual. Tons of powdered beans. Turkish coffee is specifically made with unfiltered coffee beans, which are ground to a fine powder, simmered with sugar water in a long-handled pot called a, pot called a C E Z V E. The result, a supremely thick, rich, and aromatic coffee that's like this yum. Just as the coffee beans make Turkish coffee specials, so too do real coffee flakes make this white, chocolatey coconut cake supremely rich and decadent. Well, I'll give it a thumbs up, even though I'm not a coffee flavor lover. <laughs> and let's see, we have... And we won't open this because I know Bob doesn't like these. These are Bebeto watermelon jelly gum. You know, the uh, sugar on the top, they're like um, gummies. I like them though. And it says about them, Turkish sour watermelon gummies. That's exactly what it is. Yeah, it's watermelons are the country's biggest and juiciest. Uh, annual attendees flock there in Diyarbakir Bak <laughs> for the annual watermelon and cultural festival. And they make all kinds of goodies out of watermelon. Well, we won't try that right now. But then they always put a little yum bag in. And what's in here are usually hard candies. It's, but sometimes they're, they're soft too. You, you chew them and they're soft in the, in the middle and they're really good. So let's see what these look like. Okay, there's two Tofflicks, which kind of look like um, Laffy Taffy is what they remind me of. Mild, mild. Arlo, Alo, <laughs> whatever that means. Save those for later. And then there's two Toffix Mastic, soft candy with mo mo oh, mastic flavor. <laughs> I thought it said mosaic flavor. What the heck? Flavor is mosaic. So that will do it. What do you guys think? Comments below. I'd say it's a thumbs up box though. There wasn't anything that I couldn't, wouldn't want to eat. And that's unusual. <laughs> Share if you want to share, like if you like, subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. And I hope you're all having a terrific day. I love you all. Bye.